Hey guys, Alex from European Coffee Trip, Rag is behind the camera and right now we're in Paris. And in Paris there are many amazing cafes, but for this video we have to choose only five that we will show you. So check it out. First cafe is La Fontaine de Belleville. It's the first specialty cafe from the Belleville Roastery. And what they wanted to do is actually create a specialty coffee experience in a traditional French cafe. So that's what we're gonna see now. The early morning was probably the best time to see this cafe in a relaxed and chilled atmosphere. We were among the first guests this morning. We ordered a cappuccino, filter coffee of the day and a little breakfast. So we are ready for breakfast. Soft boiled eggs, bread and butter. Belleville's coffee is roasted on about 15 minutes walk away from here and one of the six coffee blends was created having this coffee bar in mind. It's called La Fontaine and we were told the goal was to revisit what French counter espresso tastes like. So we are leaving La Fontaine de Belleville and this place is so crowded during the weekend so we were really really happy that we came on Wednesday and we could enjoy this cafe for ourselves, enjoy breakfast and coffee. So we are close to our next cafe, it's Cafe Lomi, only 90 meters away in this direction, so let's go. We had to walk to 18th district to find a coffee shop that belongs to Lomi, one of the most recognized French specialty coffee roasters. They feature many coffees on the menu, so after having cappuccino and lunch, we tasted delicious Colombian espresso and Rwandan filter coffee. And so uh, we are now sitting with our friend Mikael, who we met actually in Luxembourg uh, about four years ago, but now he works at uh, Lomi. We are kind of the, at the end of the world here in Paris, like uh, we are at the, the 18th, like uh, super far from uh, the, the city center, and uh, people are coming like uh, tourists, uh, people in the neighborhood are just having their coffee in the morning, like we're serving food in the, in the kitchen. So yeah, people are enjoying the place, they, they liked it like from uh, 2012. So let's see the roastery. Even though Lomi moved a big part of the production roasting to the south of France, a small portion is taking place in the back of the shop once per week. Because, uh, we're doing like uh, big volumes, but 10% uh, of the production is doing here. So this is the coffee from the Brazilian coffee farm Datera. I was with them in 2016. Link in the description. So we are leaving Lomi with uh, some bags of coffee to taste at home and we also met our friend Mikael and uh, it was a really lovely visit. So we continue. Only about 15 minutes walk from Lomé to Sakakar with a fantastic view over Paris. Now we move to 11th district close to Place de la Bastille to see one of the newest and most recommended coffee shops in Paris. Okay, we are in front of Beck in Black and we are going to show you what's inside, so follow us. So it's a brand new cafe of KB Coffee Roasters here from Paris and they opened in 2019. The original KB coffee shop was among the first specialty coffee spots in Paris that is still very popular and often crowded. We picked the table with a direct view on baristas and a long bright bar. So what are you gonna order, Alex? <laughs> so I will take the page brew of the day. I don't know what is it, so I need to figure out. And 1v60 and uh, washed Kenya, so that's our order. We ordered Kenyan washed coffee brew the V60 and batch brew of the day that was naturally processed Ethiopian coffee. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So it's uh, the Ethiop Ethiopian, right? Ethiopian natural. Yeah. It's roasting space. There is a roasting machine, and Remy is actually. Uh, very often behind the machine and roasting all the coffee here. What was your favorite actually? What was your favorite coffee? Uh, actually this one. It's um, Ebelio, Costa Rica and Rick. Taste cinnamon, uh, plum and chocolate. And it's my favorite now. A good thing about this place actually is that customers can actually come and see roasting, right? That's a really nice way to actually introduce customers like to, to what's behind the scene. Besides brewing, roasting and selling coffee, 
Big In Black has also a full kitchen ready to serve dishes all day long. We couldn't say no to that either. Bon appétit. This is my cheese, cheese toasty. And you have a beef bun. Before leaving Back in Black, we had a short chat about coffee culture in Paris with the owner Nicolas. Now we are leaving Back in Black and uh, we go to the, our next cafe. So we are really close because this telescope is over there. So let's come closer. So our next cafe is Telescope and it's one of the first specialty cafe in Paris and it's also a representant of really small cafe for few people where you need to be really close to the barista and enjoy the whole space. So let's check it out. The face of Telescope is Nicolas Clerc, its owner and barista, who we will find behind the bar most of the time. Coffee comes from Hesbeen in the UK and Kopi in Sweden. So coffee we are drinking is uh, roast by Hesbeen in, in England and uh, it's actually bush Ethiopian coffee called Anasora. Besides espresso-based drinks brewed on Victoria Arduino Black Eagle, filter coffee is brewed with Airpress. If you want to drink delicious coffee in a friendly and calm atmosphere before or after you visit Louvre, we can't recommend a better place. So we are leaving Telescope. Uh, if you would like to know a little bit more about uh, Nicolas, the barista and owner, so check out the barista stories on our website. We are in front of our next cafe, that is Substance Cafe. And most people told us it's different, it's special, it's strange, so we're going to figure out. Substance Cafe was opened by Joachim and his wife Alexandrine in July 2009. He designed Substance Cafe as a tasting room with only 14 seats and one barista running the show. Joachim is an experienced barista and competitor who wanted to present coffee in a totally different way. Okay. Normally we have this first menu. This first menu is just a few things with a double shot, magato, cappuccino, flat white, filter and omakase. So omakase is the I choose for you. Besides the first menu, you can choose special coffees that are often competition level coffees, frozen to preserve its freshness for a longer time and brewed using top-notch machines and techniques. Okay, so here is the fridge, minus 21 degrees Celsius and the reason for that is because there are very special coffees inside and uh, they are pre-dosed, vacuum packed and freeze to minus 21. So then when uh, you order some of the special parts of the menu, you have a fresh coffee, delicious, just for you, brewed by Joachim on a bar. So that's why this fridge. <laughs> But it's the first time it's the first time we see it as a part of the interior of the cafe. Usually there is a fridge behind the counter. Here it's part of the part of the interior and on a purpose because there are really special coffees inside. So Joachim just brewed us a very special coffee. It's a Colombian geisha from Gran Jala Esperanza. And it's a natural process geisha, right? Very long fermentation. Very long fermentation, so we're gonna taste it now. I think I can imagine drinking it every day. It's not this. <laughs> so we just learned a new Japanese word. It's a omakase, and it's actually omakase experience we just uh, had in here in Substance Cafe, and it's probably the best experience you can have. Actually, just ask how much time you have, how much money maybe you have as well, and uh, let Barista to create an incredible experience for you. So that's our recommendation. Good luck with everything. Good luck with the channel. Perfect, thank you so much. So we are leaving Substance Cafe. It was definitely one of the best coffee experiences we had so far, and we hope that you enjoy it. So our short coffee tour in Paris is over. We wish we could show you many more cafes, but we didn't have enough time. But if you do, if you have more time, so check our website and find a city guide to Paris where you can find many more places to go. And if you want to see more videos like that, so subscribe our channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>